I had asked the question, what are they doing after they remove it? And so they said, they're not doing anything. There's just so much of it. They're just trying to remove. And that's when it, it again, clicked with me, um, something that I was um, raised with or told by my tutor then was, when you take something out, you need to put something back you know, to replace it. So right then I said, oh, I gotta put my native remo back there. Well, this is kind of an answer to a question that kept probing my mind way before that, because way before me, before taking the class in 2002, was uh, my husband, who was a fisherman out there and going out fishing. Over time, over the years, we started to notice a decrease in the fish. And even when they were laid net, they were finding a decrease, they're not catching much fish. And so on one occasion, they came back and they said that they didn't have nothing, they didn't find anything. And so I was thinking, well, we would talk about it and say, well, what's going on? What's happening? Well, every time my husband would go diving in the daytime, I would be on the shoreline with my kids, my children, and swimming. And, and I was noticing, uh, too, that there was less limo washing ashore. But I'm not jumping in to, to go swimming with them all the time and it's mainly to watch the kids to make sure they're safe. And uh, through that conversation, it seemed like nobody knew the answer, what to do, how to resolve this, or what was happening. And so having taken this class now several years later, and then finding out about that, when I said, ah, oh, I gotta put my native limo back, I was, that was the answer to the question that's been probing all this time. And so I was excited about that, but after going back home for the class, it was like, I, how do you put it back? <laughs> not, I don't know nothing about planting in the ocean, only on land. And so that started my, um, I guess you said, my search to find out more. <laughs>